I know that you know the, the joke is always about tight ends getting targets. And you obviously have to take advantage when they come your way. How gratifying is it when they do and you make it the way you do it? Uh, it's awesome just being able to be reliable. You know when Justin and the offense needs us. What was the reaction from some of the teammates when you make a one hand catch there in the back of the end zone? Uh, that was awesome. You know the best part is going over the sideline and seeing you know my unit. Uh, you know Jake, Ruck, Mitch, Rashad. Uh, getting pumped up for it, and then we did when uh, Jake scored later. Is there a, is there a sense from you guys among you guys that you get to the end of the year and you can still start finding more ways? I know it's the same question we ask you all the time: like, can the tight ends get more catches? Is there a sense that that could happen down the stretch? I mean, whenever they need us, like I said, you know, we're gonna be there. It's a really good group of tight ends, and you're the starter. How much pride do you take in that? I know it's you're not trying to be selfish, but just you know, you're the starter in this. I'm just really proud of our group. You know, like I was saying. You know, the way we lift each other up and work with each other has been amazing. Do you have a sense of how big that moment was for Austin? Uh, I think it was pretty big for him, and uh, we were really happy for him. You know, all he, all he does is put his head down to work, and he's had to deal through, deal with, uh, work through some injuries and stuff here and there, and it was awesome. What do you think about Rashad playing both ways? I know he's played both defensive end and tight end during his career, but not necessarily at the same time like he is now. Yeah, and, uh, you know, that's a... You know, just a testament to what he can, he's capable of, you know. He's, uh, you know, very gifted, and then him being able to manage it, you know, mentally going back and forth between meetings and, and uh, just being able to bring the same energy has been awesome. Penn State has one of the best tight ends in the country in Friar Muth. I know you guys won't be out there at the same time playing against each other, but is there any talk in the room, like, hey, we want to prove that we're, we're pretty good at the, at the tight end position? I mean, there hasn't been a lot of talk, you know. I mean, we obviously watch a lot of their defense. Uh, you know, we don't pay a ton of attention to their offense, but I mean, we just want to be the best group we can be. Do you guys, hey, look, consider, go ahead. Do you guys consider this a rivalry game? I know Michigan's been big the, the last couple of years. Uh, nothing like the, you know, the team up north, but uh, you know, they've obviously given us a great game the past however many years, and uh, we don't take them lightly at all. And, yeah. So what makes for a rivalry game then? If like if going down to the final minute, three years in a row. <laughs> I mean, I think if you just. Not to, I mean, not no, any, you know what I'm saying. Put any yeah. matchup yeah. down, but if you look at the history of us, you know, with the game, uh, it's, it's yeah. Hey, yo, real quick, last week uh, when you guys got stoned at the one yard line, I, I count you guys offensive line and stuff. Was that just sort of a wake up call that uh, about uh, taking care of business? I mean, how, how do you, how, what's that a spur like? I guess for you guys just, going in this uh, week, just shows us we need to stay on top of our communication at all times. You know, more com communication mishap, which we have gotten fixed and continue to talk through, you know, it's yeah. always important to keep you talking. Talk, sorry, you talked about Penn State's defense. What do you see when you scout them? Uh, they play really hard. You know, they got some uh, good DNs where they both right in and, you know, um, like they said, they're not scared of anything and we're ready for that, you know, tough kind of game. When yeah. you're getting ready for a tough game, do you need to be extra tough in practice being that that's what you're getting ready for or do you need to back off a little because that's being the extra refreshed team will be an extra benefit in a game like that. You know, I think we just need to do what we've been doing. You know, uh, we practice really hard. You know, we practice against the best defense in the country. So I mean, you know, keep doing what we're doing. Look, how how, uh, how deep is this offensive playbook uh, that you guys? Only if you have a playbook, it's probably on a tablet. You know, but I mean, just how deep is this Ohio State offensive playbook? Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't put a number on like plays. But or I mean, anything, is it, but if they, we do we, a lot of variations with stuff, you know, never like with tendencies and everything. Try to you know change it up and then obviously fit it to whatever week we're getting. What kind of defense, coverage front, and uh, you know, Coach Day is one of the best offensive minds. So. That's what I wanted to ask you. Does it? It seems like y'all always have an answer when somebody poses y'all a question defensively. Eventually, y'all find the answer. Uh, That's preparation and uh, ability to adjust, you know, during the game, coming off, like I said, communicating, talking at halftime, and all those things that go into it, which is offensive staff as a whole. Yeah. Is this a week where having that, having like a more of an emphasis on the two tight end stuff this year could really pay off? And, and I will see where the where the game takes us. You know, when those situations will be ready. You know, whether it's one or three of us, two of us out there, it doesn't really matter. Why do you think um, teams have had a tough time running on Penn State? You mentioned some of their defensive ends, but they've been a hard team to run on this year. I think they're they're really sound in what they do, and they, like I said, they come off and hit you. They're not afraid to hit you in the mouth and, and see how you respond, so we have to respond the right way. Is it more of an attitude, or do they have really good players? What do you see? Um, they're always going to have, I mean, they always, you know, recruit well, obviously, to play 
like I said, they do their job well and play tough. How are they similar or different to Wisconsin? Because that was another good rush defense you faced but had success against. Uh, I would say they have a similar mindset, you know, how they attack their defensive uh, scheme. But obviously there's variations what they do. And, uh, you know, like we've been preparing all week to uh, – you know, respond the right way. You know, Michigan State, Wisconsin, y'all y'all seemed, even though they had these high rated, highly rated defenses against the run, Wisconsin was number one against the run when y'all played them. Y'all seemed intent on cracking that nut, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, is that kind of the mindset you guys have? Yeah, we, we take pride in that up front, you know, as O line and tight end unit. Um, you know, that's a huge goal of ours, you know, just control the line of scrimmage. That's a yeah. big part of winning those games. But it, But if it doesn't crack open the first time, y'all keep trying, right? I mean, uh, what, what, yeah. where does that come from? Uh, you know, our preparations from all the way off season, winter, all the way through camp and everything. You know, we're just going to keep pounding away at it throughout the game. Thanks, Luke. So what sort of emotional boost is having Chase Young back? I know he's been in practice, but now that he's going to game prep and all that, obviously going to play in the big uh, Huge. You know, we have, you know, a lot of confidence in him. And as a leader, too, uh, getting one of our captains back is huge for the whole team. Does it, even with the offense, just to see him mm -hmm. on the other side? Yeah, you definitely feel his presence at practice, you know, and, and like I said, uh, being able to go against those guys every day it just makes us that much better. Good. All right. Thank you, Lou. Thank you.